All right, so like I said before, we are going to define sine and cosine in terms of the unit circle. So first of all, what is the unit circle? So as you might expect, <laughs> the unit circle is a circle with a radius of one unit, okay? One unit. So whatever the units happen to be. <laughs> we don't really have a particular unit in mind. Could be feet, could be miles, could be um, light years for all, all, we, all we know. Um, but it's just one unit. So the circle is one unit. And then we measure, we measure an angle on that circle. Um, so you could see in this example, we can measure the angle um, to a given point, right, uh, from the positive x-axis. And we define sine and cosine to be the x and y coordinate of any point on that unit circle, okay, for a given angle, all right? So in other words, cosine is the x coordinate, right, and sine is the y coordinate of that point. All right, so let's take a look at um, example four. Let's see if I can get these both on the same <laughs> on the same page here. All right, we want to find the values of sine and cosine for the angles 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. All right, so let's make a little table out of this. I think it'll be easier to see it as a table. So I'm going to, I've got my theta values, and I've gonna, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to actually, I think I'll put cosine first, cosine of theta and sine of theta. Okay. All right. So zero, we want zero, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. Okay. All right. So what does the angle of zero degrees look like? Okay. So it's zero degrees measured from the positive x-axis. So zero degrees would be this point right here. If it's a unit circle, right, then this radius is one. So the point is going to be one comma zero, right? And the x coordinate is the cosine. The y coordinate is the sine. All right. So the cosine of, of zero degrees is one and the sine of zero degrees is zero. All right. Let's say we're at 90 degrees. 90 degrees is up here. So that's 90 degrees measured with respect to the um, x-axis, all right, the positive x-axis. So that puts um, 90 degrees up here at the top of the circle. Now that, if the, if the radius is 1, then the y-coordinate is 1 and the x-coordinate is 0. So this is the point 0, 1, right? x is 0, y is 1, which means that the cosine of 90 degrees is, is 0, and the sine of 90 degrees is 1. All right, so let's go around to 180 degrees. All right, so if we keep going now, we're at 180 degrees measured with respect to the x-axis, the positive x-axis. Right, so there's 180 degrees, and here's we're at this point on the circle. All right, so that's the point negative 1 comma 0, all right, negative 1 comma 0, right, that's the x and the y coordinate, x is the co cosine, y is the sine, okay, so the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1, the sine of 180 degrees is 0, all right, all right, so down here, finally at 270, we're down here, another 90 degrees, so there's 270 degrees, all right, what is that point? That point seems to be 0, comma, negative 1, right? So the x is 0, the y is negative 1, so the cosine of, of 270 degrees is 0, the sine of 270 degrees is a negative 1, all right? Now we could keep going. If we go another 90 degrees, we'll be at 360, right? Now that, it didn't ask for this, but we, we can also calculate what it would be at 360. Right? But at 360, we're just back. We're just back um, to where we were at zero. So we get the same point, one comma zero. Okay, so we can add that point if we want to at 360 degrees. All right, well, um, I will meet you for the next example.